Greetings, my name is Mike and welcome to the video and today I want to show how we can mod sounds in Dota 2. And by mod, I'm not talking about custom games here, but modding the actual content that you'll hear in your normal matchmaking games. Before we get started, I strongly recommend you check out my other video which is on the general modding process, because this video will focus only on sounds, so I might skip over some of the stuff that I mentioned in the other one, so do check that out. There's also some requirements that you'll need before getting started. The first one is this VPK creator. Um, links below for all of this, by the way. And I've also created a folder on my desktop called modding, which I'm going to be working in. So I've got the VPK creator here, which I've just extracted. Then there's another program called Valve Resource Viewer, which you should download the GUI file, by the way, over here. And I've extracted that to this folder. You can also use GCFscape instead, but I do like this one because you can actually preview the stuff in the program itself. You'll see what I mean shortly. And the final requirement is the workshop tools for Dota 2. Don't worry, you don't need any experience with it. I'll show you what you need to know, but you do need it on your computer. To do that, you can just open up Steam, click on Dota 2, go to settings here and then properties. There's a DLC tab and just make sure you have workshop tools ticked over here. It might need to download stuff, so just wait for that to finish and then you'll be good to go. Now the first step to modding is to find the sound file within the game's VPK that you want to replace. You'll know this if you watched my other video. So to do that, we can open up the Valve Resource Viewer, just double click this file, and you'll be left with something like this. Click open up here, and you need to now navigate to your Dota 2 installation folder. I have it pinned on the side here, but it should be something like C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dota 2 Beta, like that. So once you found it, go into Game, Dota, and scroll all the way to the bottom, and you should see pack 01 underscore dir dot vpk. Just double click that to open it in the program and give it a second or two because there's a lot to load up. When it's finished loading you'll be left with something like this and on the side you'll be able to see a bunch of files and folders which is basically just the game's content. Now what you need to do is find the exact sound that you want to replace. It can be a bit tedious and a bit um, of trial and error but you will get it with a bit of patience. For demo purposes I'm going to be replacing Witch Doctor's ultimate sound to be a little clip from this video. Yes, so what you need to do, what I'm gonna do is open sounds, which is where most of the sounds live, and heroes will live in sounds, weapons, uh, hero. Right, and here you can see all the heroes and their ability sounds. Scroll all the way to the bottom and we'll find a witch doctor one. and. Here are all Witch Doctor's abilities sounds, right? The one I'm looking for is called Death Ward Build, right? You can also double click and you can play it to make sure that it is what you're looking for. That is extremely loud and almost blew out my ears, <laughs> but nonetheless, you can still preview it there. So this is the exact sound that I want to replace and what you need to do is note down the exact folder that it lives in and the file name as well. Again, this will be familiar if you watched my other video. But it was in Sounds, Weapons, Hero, Witch Doctor. Right, you need to get it exactly correct. And then deathward underscore build dot vsndc. Now what we need to do is provide our own version of this exact file so that it can get replaced, basically. But the problem is that it's not an mp3 or a wav file, it's a vsnd underscore c. <laughs> Which is a bit annoying, but it's Dota's basically converted version of MP3 files. Unfortunately, you can't just put an MP3 file in a VPK file because it, it won't get picked up. Dota doesn't know what it is. So we're going to have to convert the sound ourselves to this format. Now, fortunately, it's a bit easier than when you convert an image, uh, a PNG, but it's still a bit of a painful process. But let's see how we can do it. Just going to minimize this for now because we're basically done. Just make sure you remember the path of this file. So I'm going to go back to my folder that I have on the desktop and you'll see that I've prepared this replacement file, right? This is what I want to replace the original sound with. And if I play it, you'll see what it sounds like. Yes, so that's what I'm going to be replacing it with, right? So what you need to do is just prepare your own mp3 I think it works with mp3, I've only used WAV, but prepare your own replacement sound. And once you've got that, you can pretty much carry on here. So what I'm going to do now is open up the Dota 2 Workshop tools. You can do that by opening Steam again, 
and double click Dota 2 and it will ask you what you want to launch. Then you just choose Tools and it will open up this window. I'm just going to close Steam because we're done. And what you have to do is go create a new add-on and then type a name for your add-on. This doesn't really matter because it won't show up anywhere, it's just for your own sanity. So I'm just going to call it Pepeg. Hit Create and then you'll see it appear in the list over here. Now you don't need to open it just yet, you can leave it like this and just minimize that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my replacement sound, copy it, and go back to my Dota 2 installation folder. In here, go to Content, Dota Add-ons, and then there should be one for your add-on with the same name. So open that, and inside here, you need to create a Sounds folder. If it's there already, it's fine, just open it, but it probably won't be. And then just paste your replacement sound in here. Now what we can do is go back to the workshop tools and fire up our add-on by just double clicking it there. Now what this does is it opens Dota 2 as well as the workshop tool, so just give it a second to load. Alright, it's finished loading up and you'll see it opens like a windowed version of Dota. That's fine, just minimize it because we don't need it. But the important part is this window here, the asset browser. I know there's a lot going on, but don't worry about it. All that you need to know is this search box over here. And what you need to do is type the name of your sound file. So mine was look at it go. Like that. And you should see one appearing in the list over here. And what you can do is you can click on it once to preview it. Oh, yeah. Just to make sure this is the correct one. What you actually want to do is right click and say full recompile. Oh. Nothing exciting happens but it has done a lot behind the scenes. What you can do is just close this asset browser because we don't need it anymore. And in the Explorer, go back to your Dota 2 installation folder and go to Game, Dota Add-ons, and then the folder for your add-on. And you should see Sounds, and then here we go. We have the VSND underscore C version of our file, which is what we've been looking for this whole time. So you can go ahead and copy that. Now I'm going to go back to my folder on the desktop, which I've been working in. And if you're familiar with the other video again, you'll know how to build the VPK. So I'm going to go to pack01 underscore dir, and I need to now recreate the folder structure. Right, so it was sounds, weapons, if I can spell, hero, witch, doctor, and then inside here was our sound. But it was called death, ward, underscore build. Right? You need to make sure you get these names exactly correct, so feel free to open up the resource viewer again and just double check everything, right? Deathward underscore build vsnd underscore c and then all the folders. Witch doctor, hero, weapons, sounds. Yeah, everything looks good. So I can close that as well. Now we are almost done. We just need to go back to the main folder of our mod over here and we can run merge mods.bat. This will spit out this file that is going to be the VPK of our mod. Go ahead and copy this and navigate to the Dota 2 installation folder yet again. Open up game and again as my previous video mentions we need to create a folder for our add-on like that and paste the VPK inside here. The last step I promise is to go back to the game folder, go into Dota and once again we need to edit gameinfo.gi. You can use any text editor. Scroll down a bit and you'll see this game Dota line and we need to add above that game and then the name of the add-on like that and just save the file. Now it's done and all we need to do is just test the mod in Dota itself. So I'm going to actually just close this weird one that the editor opened because we need to restart and I'm going to open up Dota 2 normally. So let's give it a chance to load. All right, it's loaded up. Don't mind offline mode, by the way, I'm having internet problems. But I'm going to go to Witch Doctor and fire up demo mode. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to create an enemy and level up my hero and level up. And now we can test the sound. And there you go. <laughs> I love it. It just makes the game a lot more chilled and enjoyable. I love it so much. But anyway, that's all I've got to show for modding sounds. Um, the only tricky part is converting it with the Dota 2 workshop tools. But I think when you've done it a few times, it'll be pretty familiar and straightforward. Um, again, I have videos on other stuff like modding images and icons. So check that out if you are interested. 
But that's all I've got. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope you learned something. Cheers for now.